Hello my small fat adapted family and welcome back to Keto Bits and Bobs. Here on Keto Bits and Bobs I review keto foods or brands found predominantly in the United Kingdom as a Brit who has been in ketosis since 2014. Today we are looking at the company Eva Bold. Eva Bold is a UK based company that focuses on plant-based keto-friendly savory bites and protein bars. Eva Bold were kind enough to give me their products in return for a fair and honest review so thank you Eva Bold. So let's look at what Eva Bold has to offer as of early 2022. So in terms of their savory bites there are three flavors black onion seed, there's rosemary and pink salt and there's za'atar. And in terms of their protein bars they currently have two flavors which is salted caramel and coffee mocha. We've got a lot to unpack here, so let's start with the ingredients and the macronutrients and we'll get going with the savory bites. These protein bites are all pretty much made up of the same base ingredients, which are sunflower seeds, olive oil, pumpkin seeds, flax seed, almonds, pea protein, brown rice protein, chia seeds, psyllium husk, green tea extract, and tocopherol rich extract. Then depending on the flavor, you're looking at the added ingredients of a za'atar spice mix, rosemary, pink salt, black pepper, and dried onion, or nigella seeds, dried onion, black pepper, and activated charcoal. All of these ingredients are absolutely fine to have on the ketogenic diet in moderation. There's a lot of great fibrous ingredients and very minimal added flavoring. Brown rice protein and pea protein are both low carb proteins, despite being derived from higher carb sources. They are using these to ensure that their products are vegan and vegetarian friendly. Tocopherol rich extract is an antioxidant, which is basically a natural vitamin E extract. The only ingredient I don't much care for out of any of these savory bites is the activated charcoal in the black onion seed bites. Activated charcoal is great for trapping toxins in your gut and carrying them out of your body before they can be absorbed, but it also can lower the amount of nutrients that is absorbed from the food that you consume, as well as lowering medication absorption. I'm mentioning this, but there's going to be such a minimal amount of activated charcoal in these bites that it shouldn't really play a negative effect at all. In terms of macronutrients, these 30 gram protein bites are between 185 and 187 calories, 16.4 and 16.6 grams of fat, 8.7 and 8.9 grams of protein, and all of them are 1.4 grams of net carbs, making them absolutely fantastic ketogenic macros and suitable for pretty much all of the ketogenic diet variations. Now over to the sweet stuff. When it comes to Eva Bold's protein bars, both of the bars are made up of peanut butter, erythritol, stevia, inulin, which is also sometimes known as chicory root fiber, cocoa mass, pea protein, protein crispies, which are made up of isolated soy protein, tapioca starch, and salt, and both bars have coconut oil. Then there is an addition of either dried coffee powder for the cocoa mocha bar or natural flavoring for the salted caramel bar. In terms of the sweeteners that are being used, erythritol is a sugar alcohol with a glycemic index of about one, meaning that it absolutely should not raise your blood sugars. Stevia is a natural sweetener with a glycemic index of zero, meaning it will not raise your blood sugars. And inulin is a fiber with a glycemic index of zero, meaning again, it won't raise your blood sugars. Eva Bold are using some of the best sweeteners that you can have on the ketogenic diet in their protein bars. And the only other ingredient that I feel is important to mention is the tapioca starch in the protein crispies. Tapioca starch is pretty high in carbs, but it's being used as a very, very minor ingredient to help bind together the protein crispies, which themselves are a pretty minor ingredient. So in terms of the macronutrients of Eva Bold's protein bars, both 40 gram bars are 168 calories, 11.4 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, and 2.4 net carbs, making them great protein bars for keto diet followers. 
And that leads us into probably the most important question. How do Evobold's products taste? All of the savory protein bites are little bites that hold their shape really well, as in they don't like fall apart and crumble in your hands. When you bite into them, they're lovely and crunchy, and they've got distinguishable different sort of seed textures depending on which flavor you're eating. And I find that all three of the flavors do have a slight oat cake texture to them, which I really liked. The black onion seed bites are the only ones that differ slightly in texture, as they are thinner and less seedy. These ones feel more like a traditional cracker that needs to have slices of cheese or something on them. When it comes to flavours, the Zartar Bites had a sort of umami taste to them, as the spices were quite hard to identify independently. The Rosemary and Pink Salt Bites had an almost bitter rosemary that was complemented with a kind of sweet tasting salt. And the Black Onion Seed Bites had a very subtle sweet onion aftertaste. Otherwise I thought that these bites specifically tasted more like kind of just like flax seeds. All of the flavours are completely palatable but I do find them to be quite subtle. So whilst I did find these bites pleasant on their own I think they would be far more suited to being additions in your salads or your soups giving them just a little bit of a different taste and specifically texture. Like low carb crouton alternatives. The only sort of con I have for these savoury bites is that they made my mouth feel quite dry afterwards, so I recommend having a drink with you when you consume them. Now when it comes to Eva Bold's protein bars, the texture of Eva Bold's protein bars are different to any other protein bar I've had before, and I have had a lot of them. And I will tell you now, I absolutely loved the unique texture. Imagine the texture of a Quest bar. So that sort of very condensed brownie feeling. Except when you bite into a Quest bar, it's very dense and it slowly becomes very chewy and it's very difficult to get through. Eva Bold's protein bars initially have that sort of dense Quest bar feeling to them. But when you fully bite into them, they turn into like fine crumbs in your mouth, making them not only far easier to get through, but also kind of feeling like the base of a cheesecake, I guess, like a no-bake cheesecake. As well as this very unique texture, you also get little pockets of crunchiness like Rice Krispies from the Protein Krispies. These bars I found to be a really interesting textural experience. And the flavours, both of the bars had a lovely level of sweetness, a little bit less sweet than other commercial protein bars, but still sweet enough to tastes like a dessert. The coffee mocha bar had a really beautiful balance of coffee flavour and it left a taste in my mouth like I just had a nice mug of fresh coffee. And the salted caramel bar gets first place out of all of Eva Bold's products. The caramel flavour tastes natural, there's no artificialness to it, and it is there throughout every single bite and in the aftertaste. But I love it when a company isn't afraid to get a little adventurous when it comes to how much salt they put in a salted caramel flavored product. The salt punches just a little bit more than I expected and it makes the caramel taste even sweeter and more delicious. Despite peanut butter being the main ingredient in both of these bars, you absolutely cannot taste peanuts at all. Eva Bold's protein bars are absolutely gonna be going on my must haves list because they feel like a really unique keto product. When it comes to actually buying Eva Bold's products, you can buy them directly from their website, which I have linked down below in the description of this video. And in terms of the price, as I've looked through their entire range in this video, I would like to highlight specifically a bundle pack that they sell, which is their full range sample pack. So this bundle costs £8.99 and you get all three flavours of the savoury protein bites and both of the protein bars. This means that every single product works out to £1.70 each, which I think is a pretty good price for ketogenic food. It is on the lower end of average ketogenic commercial food products when it comes to the price. You can also bulk buy anything that you've seen today in this video, and bulk buying works out as well to about £1.70 per item, no matter what you're getting. So the full range sample pack 
is a fantastic way to try either bold stuff without bulk buying and you're saving just the same amount. And to make it even better, I have a discount code. I'm not sure how long this is running for, but if you try either bold 25, that should give you 25% off your order. I met the lovely women behind Eva Bold at the UK's first ever keto festival last month. And not only were the owners absolutely lovely, I have come away finding it difficult to find flaws for their products. The only things that really sort of stand out to me is that you may not get the same enjoyment that I got from the texture of the bars and the bites, the savory bites, they are quite subtle in flavor. But otherwise, these are great tasting products, especially that salted caramel bar, and they are a really decent price. So I highly recommend just trying them at least once. Now, with that being said, that is all for this video. Leave a like if you found it interesting, insightful, or helpful. Subscribe for more keto content. Any questions, any comments, any queries, anything down below. Keep calm, keto on. Thanks for watching.